Welcome back, everyone. Picked up some hats early on. Yeah, guys, maybe late to that one. So I was already digging out a couple hats, but be all right. Uh, we're at Jacktown Flea Market. It's more of a uh, swap meet, but very, very cool. This is like their big summer show. I ended up buying a basketball, this motor oil can, which is really awesome. I, think I, went, I might just even have to display that. It sucks, it's missing a cap, but what are you gonna do? I always get another cap. Gotta check out the steam shot. I think I'm gonna walk back to the Jeep first. It's, uh, it is warm out here. Wow, it's scorching. Always intrigued by people who have a huge crowd around their table. I was hoping it was no water. 
That is one old tin. It's a piggy bank. Sweat on. It's like literally a sauna in here. You can just sit here and just sweat. Why even pay for a sauna? I can't imagine working on like one of these things all day long, like back in the turn of century and the uh, it's called the Industrial Revolution, I think it was. Man, it must have been brutal. Cool signs, nice golf sign over there. Pennzoil is pretty, pretty nice. cool all right so i just made it back um the show was like a three-day sale i believe so today was the first day of the three-day sale generally speaking you can probably get there the day before it starts and pick at night uh i thought about it uh about three years ago i did that but i thought that it was only a two-day sale so um i would essentially go on the first day at night however that's not the case so I, I feel like I might have been a little bit late to the party this morning. Uh, but this is what we grabbed. It's an awesome show. It's not just a flea market. It's, you know, steam engines or hit and miss engines and a lot of different things going on. So it's a very cool um, event. And it's very cool to see everything kind of going on. With that said, I got one basketball. Uh, the basketball trend is slowly dying off. But I grabbed them if I can pick them up for a dollar or two dollars. Um Probably one of my favorite pieces is this. It looks like it's a bank. Almost like a uh, carousel horse. Kind of like rocks. This is something where you'd find this in the attic and there'd definitely be old, old silver 
coins in it. However, it does sound empty, so there's nothing in there. Uh, this was marked on the back. I thought this was kind of neat. Made in Western Germany. So this is pretty old. I thought it was really cool. Um, and then I got this older wind-up toy, it looks like. Oh, it's kind of messed up a little bit there, but it was only a dollar. So I guess you can't really go wrong. He's got a hole right there on his rear end. I don't think it works. It probably doesn't work. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Don't want to break them. Oh. Well, didn't move much. Amazing what, uh, oh, still going. Amazing what fascinated people back in the old days. Uh, Boys Town? Don't know what this is. I don't even know anything about it. Might even be a gentleman's club. I'm not sure. Uh, got a Charleston, South Carolina. I can't remember who I was talking to. I was talking to someone who has their kid going to Charleston. I don't remember who it was. But they're going down there for school. And I got one Bud Racing hat. Um, see my neighbor? No. Um... I ran into my neighbor there, and I asked him where his kid was because his kid absolutely loves this show. And uh, I think he was at work, so <laughs> I guess he couldn't make it today. Uh, but this nice old 1998 Bud Racing hat. It's a low-profile hat, so I probably won't keep it. Uh, but still with the tags, very cool. And then lastly, this awesome motor oil can, 5-gallon Wolf's Head motor, motor oil. If only we saved all the oil cans that were ever made. Because there are some really, really cool ones. This one's a, it's pretty common. Um, it is missing the cap, which you can obviously just like find another one. They're pretty universal. So if you find one that might be a little roached and not worth saving, you could probably just replace the caps if the other one has the caps. Very nice. Still has the graphics. Would make an awesome shelf piece. But overall, another fun day of treasure hunting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Got some really cool things here. Uh, going to try to stay inside and stay a little cool. I was going to do some weed whacking, but it's like 94 degrees out. So I, I guess weed whacking in the middle of the day in the sun at 94 degrees is probably not the smartest idea. So I guess I'll sit down and do some work work. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch you guys next time. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.